Hi, I'm Julia here from Cuban Salsa School and today uh, I'm so happy that I get to meet um, Mira Hanula which is from uh, the face of Salsa Stockholm. So we're going to chat uh, with her just a little bit and uh, talk more about Salsa Stockholm and uh, the events that they organize here. So hello Mira. Hello. So how long have you been doing uh, salsa in Stockholm? Uh, mm. I started in 1999. 1999. <laughs> it's been wow. a while. So next year will be my 20th anniversary. That's wow, dancing that's amazing. And, and teaching and yeah, and uh, well, organizing events as well. Um, Did you start in Stockholm or what? What made you do salsa in the first? Uh, you no, know, I started, um, or I actually learned about salsa when I first went to Cuba with my friend's family just for a holiday thing in Varadero and <laughs> I just got a little glimpse of what salsa could, could mm -hmm. be mm -hmm. uh, and then I looked up places here in Stockholm and I started in 1999 after right. that trip uh, <laughs> and I've been dancing since then. Wow and then you started the school as well when did you start teaching um, salsa? Almost immediately Almost uh, yes uh, so I was very disciplined in the beginning. I went to all clubs, all, <laughs> I went to all dance schools, I took all the classes that I could take. I learned a lot uh, from uh, dancers in London. I went to mm -hmm. London very often. Right. And danced with uh, Super Mario and oh, Leon right. Rose. Oh, yes, and, of course, yes. Uh, lots Famous of dance, names. Lots of the dancers from there. Um, and uh, yeah, I started dancing, teaching, uh, performing, traveling to salsa congresses with a group right. called Club Latino. Club Latino. Right, with. yes. Is it still going now, the, no, the, the dance uh, group? No, uh, we danced together for a couple of years and then uh, we split and started mm -hmm. our different um, projects. projects, dance schools, uh, events. Also, so, so they're super, they're, they're called uh, Stockholm Salsa Dance now uh -huh. and they're more of a dance school and I only organize events and if, right. I, do, um, if I do workshops and, and things like that, it's more of a um, a single, you know, a weekend workshop weekend or just one single workshop here and there. Right, mm -hmm. okay. If you hear music in the background, by the way, that's Kaya Real doing the sound check, which is exciting. Um, what we want to talk more about now, the uh, how Mira organizes um, events like this. So how how do you go about like if if you want to to invite a band or organize an event? How how do you do it? <laughs> well, since I'm an oldie in the salsa scene here, um, and and there there are not that many musicians in Stockholm, uh, and I prefer organizing events where local talents are uh, represented so local Absolutely. bands local dancers local instructors and i think i know most of them by now uh, and to me the combination of dancing and dancing to live music is that's my main purpose of doing this uh, right. there are so many good djs uh -huh. everywhere and i always invite the my favorite djs to these events as well right but to me it's uh, i i want for everyone to be able to experience the feeling of dancing to live music. Cause right, they, yes, because um, I'm, I'm a, a huge fan of dancing to live bands as well, so I go to to the, the local live bands that I could find. Um, I recently moved to Warsaw and recently uh, I found three Cuban bands in Warsaw, which was uh, it got me excited. Um, I come from Edinburgh originally, and uh, we had a couple of uh, bands there that they weren't really active, but yeah, I do appreciate local bands as well. So, um, what what do you need? Uh, what effort do you do you, um, do to to bring the, the event together? You need to contact the bands and then the venue. Um, would you mind sharing your experience with us? Um, oh wow! Yeah, so. I have a very long checklist, <laughs> but, but, but I think just uh, in general. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think um, I think of myself as uh, as a customer or dancer when when I used to travel and right. when I went to events and congresses and 
and the whole sort of this sounds so boring but like the customer journey like okay you right. you enter the place what do you need and what do you want to see and that what is you not experience. boring though that's, that's <laughs> the, like the, the the key point i think lots of organizers miss this because they don't see it from the other side but i think what you do is spot on yeah yeah so and then thinking about you know as well as a customer uh, like what, what and walk through the whole evening like what do i want to see and experience and where can i find breaks if i need to sit down or if i uh, like where's the bar and when where's the dj and where what time when is the, does the class start and do i actually have time do i have to stress when i enter before the class starts or is there right. some time like i guess details but still yeah, um, that's amazing yeah looking at it from, from the customer's point of view. I worked at Ikea, so maybe th it comes from there. <laughs> <laughs> the if you can, maybe you, you draw the, the arrows as well. <laughs> you no, I didn't do that, but you know, they think that's all they think about. <laughs> okay, that's mm -hmm. amazing. So um, what are your plans for, for, the, pu for the future? Now, I want to um, continue doing this, um, and uh, I want to continue building on the scene, you know, where where all of the dancers in Stockholm appreciates dancing to live music. Because there's obviously a, a, a huge cost and effort, you know, compared to Absolutely. going to your, to your social, where you maybe practice more what you have learned mm -hmm. at your dance school, and then going to an event where uh, it, it's all about social dancing. But it's, uh, you know, I make an effort. I try to find a nice venue, and I bring in the bands, and I just want people to appreciate it. And I, I think I'm succeeding. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I think so. It's been kind of a success a couple of times. I've done this for a few years. And right. this is the first time that I bring Calle Real. And right. But they're based in Stockholm. They're based, I mean, they're based in Stockholm, but they are how many individuals? You know, try to get them together because yeah, they all do other right. things as well. Yes, so. that's right. And uh, the last uh, time, I think their last album was three years ago yes. or something. So yeah, I think it's about time that they get back together and, uh, and perform to their fans like me. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> um, so yeah, well, um, how about the, the salsa scene in Stockholm in general? Um, is it like for international uh, dancers like us, is it recommendable? Or? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Where, where yeah. do you go in Stockholm? Oh, there are, there are obviously a lot of Latin clubs. Uh, most of them are divided into more Cuban dancing mm -hmm. and then more socials and events for mambo, sort right. of more the retro yes, mm -hmm. Um There are, I mean, there's probably a place to go to go out dancing like every night of the week, I would say. Oh, right. Uh, lots of, of dance That's school cool. socials. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, there are plenty of, of uh, events. Um, there's a big congress coming up in November. It's called oh, Hot right. Salsa Weekend. Ah, um, I, do you organize that? No, I don't organize it. Okay. Friends of mine are. Ah, um, cool. So I would definitely say Stockholm is something to count on. But I, if you if you just randomly you know end up in Stockholm a Tuesday night, it could be difficult to find something. Right. But if you plan your trip, uh -huh. like this weekend, there was a big night yesterday. Tonight is yes, a big night. There's that's a, right. There were workshops today in musicality with Alexis from oh, Alexis okay. Italia. So, so uh, there's definitely things happening in the salsa scene here, and it's growing. Right. It's grown since I started dancing. Right. Where do you find all this information online? Do you have like a portal website that we can go to? Um, I have a Facebook page, uh -huh. actually a group uh, called Salsa Stockholm. Salsa Stockholm. I yes. mostly promote my stuff there yes, for course. obvious <laughs> reasons. But when I don't have any events, because uh -huh. I only have a few per year, uh, bigger events, then I uh, I work together with other people and I recommend other people's events. So that's, that's a good place to go. Okay. Uh, and also my Instagram account, which is called Salsa Stockholm. Um, <laughs> And uh, I mean, if anyone's looking for recommendations, just reach out. Yes. I'll be happy to share whatever I know is going on. Currently. That's amazing. So Salsa Stockholm, so on Instagram and on website as well. Yes, and Stockholm, not the full spelling of Stockholm, actually. Ah, okay. So that might be worth mentioning. It's okay. S-T-H-L-M. 
S T H L M. Yes. Okay, that's great. Well, thank you very much for the interview today. I know I know you're super busy because you have diarrhea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're practicing and sound checking and people are coming in, so I'm good. But thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank and you. hopefully, um, by the way, Stockholm itself is a beautiful city. I've been wandering around all day uh, yesterday as well. So uh, let's meet in Stockholm perhaps next time. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you Mira. Okay, bye. <laughs>